In this double KO video, we're going to go over how to manually do pulse combos. Why you would want to do them manually is simply when you want to use a different fuse, which becomes very beneficial for tag team fuses and comeback fuses. Also, unless you're new to the game, there's really no benefits of using pulse fuse unless you're struggling a lot to consistently land combos. To start off, your left and right movement inputs for combos can change depending on what side you are on. So we'll use back and forward instead of left and right where back is known as moving away from the opponent and forward is moving towards the opponent. Down and jump will be the same no matter what side you are on. The first combo will be the light pulse combo and we will go into further depth on the difficult parts of the combo. At half speed the playback for the combo starts with a single light attack to a single medium to a down forward heavy attack to a jump forward light to a medium attack to a heavy attack and to an instant S1. For the difficult parts such as pressing down forward heavy, you want to press all three buttons together. So after the single medium attack, instantly press down forward and heavy together at the same time. Another tip is if you're struggling on this part, it will be better to just practice the move solo. So only pressing down forward and heavy together at the same time until you get more comfortable with landing this attack. Next up in the combo is jump forward light. Again, pressing all three of these buttons together and then followed up with an instant medium to a heavy to an instant s1 again if struggling you can use the previous tip or another tip that can be very helpful is practicing a certain part of the combo so practicing the down forward heavy attack to an instant jump forward light to an instant medium to a heavy to a instant s1 it can take up to 20 minutes or more to get the full combo down and hit it consistently so be patient and break down the combo when needed Moving on, we have Echo's medium pulse combo. At half speed, the playback for this combo starts with a single medium to a heavy to an S2, then S2 again to a super one. The final combo hit depends on your opponent's positioning after using your super. The only difficult part for this combo is inputting the super one and timing the super one into the combo. Solo move practice will be best for learning how to input the super one. You also want to set your training options for unlimited supercharge in the training settings. For combo timing, right after your final S2 begins, you want to put in your Super 1 input. Lastly, we have the Heavy Pulse Combo. At half speed, the playback for this combo starts with a single Heavy to a Forward plus S1 to your Super Ultimate. Again, the hardest part for this combo will be inputting your Ultimate and timing it into the combo. Solo move practice will be best for learning the ultimate input. Again, you want to set your training options to unlimited supercharge in the training settings. Finally, for the combo timing, right after your final hit lands of your forward plus S1 attack, input your ultimate super.